Okay, I have been asked this question that why is it that during certain periods of our life we seem to be having uh, more than a share of good luck and sometimes you know more than a share of bad luck. Uh, I think uh, it's the perception that we have of the circumstances that we are you know currently going on in life is a good or is bad because really there is nothing good or bad that is happening to us. Everything is a learning experience and everything one thing leads to the other. So something which we perceive as happening bad in our life was probably a necessity to lead to something good in our lives. I would like to narrate an old uh, Chinese uh, story to illustrate my point. There was a wise uh, peasant in a, in a village in China and uh, he had a handsome looking son, dashing son. And uh, the son owned a very nice white stallion. And most people in the village considered him a very lucky person because he had a good son who owned a nice white stallion. So one day the stallion ran away, the nice white stallion which he owned. And his neighbors came and, you know, told this wise, pe wise peasant, you know, so sorry to hear that your horse has run away and uh, it's such bad luck that you're going through. And the wise peasant replied, good luck, bad luck, who knows? Few days later, the stallion came back and he brought with him 12 wild horses. Again the neighbors came to his house and said, what good luck, your horse came back with 12 more horses and now you have 13 horses. The peasant said, good luck, bad luck, who knows. A few days go by and his son was trying to break one of the wild horses, you know, train the wild horses and break him, kind of uh, tame the wild horse and he fell off the horse and broke his leg. Again the neighbors came to his house to give their condolences and said, what bad luck? And the peasant said, good luck, bad luck, who knows? A few weeks later, as the, as his son was hobbling down, you know, walking, hobbling because his one of his legs was broken, down the streets of the village, he sees the emperor's army enter the village. And the emperor's army is being commanded by, you know, a platoon commander and he announces that a war is starting now and we need all able men in the village to join the army. So all the able men were conscripted except for his son because he was not, he was lame, he was a cripple and he was not able to join the army. Again the villagers came to his house and said, oh what good luck that your son is home while our sons are going to fight in the army we don't even know if they will come back home. The peasant again replied, good luck, bad luck, who knows? So this is actually what is really happens in our life. Our life is uh, made of various instances or various things which happen in our life. We categorize them or we kind of say this is good luck, this is bad luck, this is a good thing that's happened, this is bad luck, bad thing that has happened. But there is really no such thing because one thing leads to the other. The good would not have been possible without experiencing the bad first and vice versa. So it is important to maintain equanimity in all situations and not let get affected by what we perceive to be good or what we perceive to be, to be bad. If you have any feedback or comments please leave them on this page. If you would like to ask me a question, you're welcome to do so. Thank you for watching this video.